the question I'm going to... <laughs> she's scared because she thinks it's going to fail. No. <laughs> no, no, I'm going to do great. Yes, good, good, good. Okay. This is what I want to ask you. Have you practiced any of your recipe? Yes. 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 You should be very proud to say, I would like to be a vegetarian. I would like to be a vegan. And don't be afraid to say that in front of anybody because that's what everybody would like to, but they don't have the power to do it. Mm -hmm. And some of them don't even have a person that can help them. And you have somebody that can help you. And I'm here anytime. I mean, like I gave you my phone number. You can have my email. You can call me anytime. You can just. Get in touch with me, any question that you have, I'll be there with you. Any recipe that you would like to have, uh, any idea that you have, just uh, get in touch with me. And I'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yes. Um, so we are in class number six. There's only two more classes. To me, it seems like it was, it was yesterday. Yeah. So, uh, and you can see that there were a lot of people that started with the class. And they just weed out, some of them come, some of them know, like, okay, but that doesn't bother me because I'm here to help anyone. Even if it's one person that come over here every Monday night, I'd be here teaching you and helping you on whatever you want to learn about being a vegetarian. <laughs> Yes, and I would like to let you know that on the last page of the recipes that you received today, I don't know if that was put on the last or maybe the first one. What all happened to your book? Um, it's at home. Well, I found it straight from camping. I camped all weekend. Proud of you. Yeah. Good, 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 <laughs> good. See that um, whatever it says over there, health benefits of going vegan, every week I'm going to be giving you some, some of the benefits. On the last time benefits was, uh, the health benefit of going vegan was nutrition. The nutrition that you can get when you go vegan. On the, that was last week. On this week, what you can see, uh, here. On this week is disease prevention, mm -hmm. and that's what you can uh, do if when you begin, when you start being a vegan. And you can notice too that from the last week today, I started with number one, and then we are number twenty-two. You're going to have fifty-seven benefits, and they all going to be different. Okay. So I don't want you to just have it over there, read it, study, so you can learn some of the good things so you can participate when you are a vegan. Okay. You don't like me. So last week we learned that for us to be 
in this word is for, it was because an intelligent plan. And that plan was from God, and he gave us everything that we need. Where can we find it? Everything that we need to be healthy. Yes, and for the reason why we know that is because it's in the Bible. In Genesis 1.29, he says, what is that that we're supposed to eat? And remember that I even told you for the, for the animals, he said what, uh, what they should eat for the birds and everybody else. Okay, so we're just going to continue with this thing for a little while. And remember, the reason why I'm telling you this is because where you, where, where you came from, you need to know what is that that you need to put in your body so you be healthy all the time, okay? The intelligent plan, remember we talked about God creating Adam and Eve, but we're not going to go through that. We just know that we are person, they were person, and we are in this world, and now we have to be healthy because the, the way that we were created. But remember what I said too, that since we were not so obedient eating what we were supposed to eat, then our body deteriorates a little. But God gave the intelligence to a lot of people that, I mean, we all are intelligent for certain things. But some of the uh, men and women, they became doctors investigating what is good for this body, what is good, what is good. And they find out things that are in the fruit and vegetables that are good for our bodies. And that's what we are studying now. We, what is in the fruit and in the vegetables and everything that we have beside me that is good for our bodies, okay? Yeah. Could you move the blender? Oh, oh yeah, this, yes, yes, this, yes. The picture is all. The yeah, picture's yeah, yeah. in the way. Yeah. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank yeah, you. that's great. Thanks. Good. So, we talk about we're going to discover the natural pharmacy in our pantry. Okay. This is something new. Uh, it's kind of hard to read it over there, but I can put them this way for the one close to me that they can see it. But. Acne fighting food. I mean, we are not working, we don't have a problem right now, but we have children, and when we were very young, we were going through all of that too. But those are the products that help us. And you can see that they make almond soap. It's just trying to sell the soap because the almond is there, but eat the almonds, and that will help you a lot better than just dealing with the soap. And then the acne uh, fighting food, and there you can find almonds, green tea, carrots, feet, watermelon, oranges, spinach, and whole grains. And the good thing is that those things are not only good for acne fighting, they are good for a lot of different things. But if you have acne problems, those are the things that we should be using. Especially the watermelon is good for a lot of different things, a lot of good stuff. I was surprised when I was reading all the things that watermelon is good for. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Okay, you got it home? That's it.
feet and baby spinach. So those are the things that we should be eating to have clean, nice skin. And if you can see, that's why we say just eat fruit, salads, and vegetables, and you're going to be healthy, and you're going to be looking good and younger. So that says fully raw, so does that mean eat those raw? Yeah, because those things you can eat it raw. You can eat it raw. Like so that. how do you eat beets raw? I've never done that. Like no? Shredded. In the but you shred it and put them on salad. Oh, yes. It's cooked? Raw. No, not raw. 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 Yes. Really? Yes, you straight in and put them on salad. If you try to eat it raw, it's not, it's, it, it don't taste bad or anything. Just crunchy. A lot like texture. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, go. Shredded raw meats and a little bit of olive oil are one of the best tonics for your gallbladder. Shredded what? Your oh, beets. Yeah, beets. I thought you were saying meat. That's why right. right. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you doing? Okay, uh, next. Healing power of foods. We're going to see differences. We already talked about the cherries on the other side, but the cherries over here. Can you read it for me, wow. please? Did you know that the skin of cherries relieves pain just as well as ibuprofen, mm -hmm. or that avocado works great as a hair conditioner? In other words, food is medicine. So does that surprise you? Yes. No, cherries is great for knees. Okay, because it, the medicine is made out of plants. Mm -hmm. They get things from whatever it is on the plants. So we are just eating second hand. I mean, we just use second hands. That's what we say. If you become a vegetarian or a vegan, a vegetarian is easier for the beginning, uh, you're going to see the difference in your body. And by the way, let me tell you this. My husband is eating healthy. Oh, that's <laughs> oh, yay. Yes. Every morning at 8 o'clock, he has to have breakfast. And a healthy breakfast. <laughs> Uh, at home, he would, he would never eat meat at home. Oh, if he okay. eats it, it's when he goes out or something like that. Yeah. Does, he, does he feel better? Yes. Yeah, he feels better. You say, I, will ne I should listen to you. And he say, I should listen to you. You say, yeah. But you have to find out this way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to reduce the risk of cancer. Do you know the kale? Do you know kale? Right? We have it at first class, I think we have a salad. Kale yes. salad. No. It won't last, it never does. <laughs> However, when you start your... So the kale salad that we had last time. I didn't do it. Yeah. If you learn how to make kale salad in different ways, it's really delicious. Really, really, really delicious. So, and it's very, very healthy. The kale. I really don't know. It starts from the computer end. Okay, back again. Let's see what he says about the kale. Kale has enjoyed its superfood reputation for a while now, and for good reason. Its high content of vitamin K has proved it can reduce. Just a second, just a second, please, please. We we are talking this way. Okay. okay. 
Its high content of vitamin K has proved it can reduce the overall risk of developing or dying from cancer. So that means that kale is good to help to avoid cancer, okay? And there's a lot, a lot of vegetables and fruits that help on the cancer situation. The only thing is that when we find out that we have cancer, then we want to try to start eating vegetables and all the things. But it's so, kind of too late, even though sometimes it's reversible because we start on time. But if we do it now, we are avoiding to get into that process, and that is so sad, and it's no need to go through that when we know what we are supposed to do. What else has K in it, like the vitamin K? The um, kale? Yeah, I have it on another one that's going to give you all the definitions, and the papers I'm giving you to read over there, okay. then you're going to find out over there all the, everything that is on, on the kale. Broccoli, you're talking about what else has vitamin K in it? Broccoli mm -hmm. and cauliflower, and most all your greens, spinach, anything green has vitamin K. Okay, the next one. Carrots contain a wealth of carotenoids and beta carotene, which gives our skin that healthy glow. According to a study published online in the Journal of PLOS One, the beta carotene also helps with collagen production. What is PLOS One? That's a, a, a journal. That, different journal. Companies that have their own journey of writing and writing and writing about different things. Right. right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it, it, the carrots, it's something else that we can use it raw. We don't even need to cook it. If we can eat it, eat it like that, a lot better because when we cook the food, some of the vitamins and things just go away. But if you cook it, just do it like it is. Steam, like in a little bit of water, not a lot of water, just like a heat with water. So we cook, we not, uh, then the, all, everything, the, all of the vitamins and whatever nutrients stay there. For the healthy immune system, the shiitake mushrooms. The immune support from eating shiitake mushrooms has long been documented. They have a high content of lentinin, which keeps our immune system strong and reduces our risk of infection. So that's all those mushrooms. If we're going to eat mushrooms, uh, try to buy that kind. That's the black one, no black one, dark brown. brown. Not a real white one. That one it will be a lot healthy for us to eat. That's a shiitake mushroom. Healing power of foods. And then here is a watermelon. This contains a lot of potassium and many more lycopene than tomatoes, which is a matter for the successful prevention of prostate cancer. Watermelon has a lot of amino acids, which very well affect the health of the organism. OK, I would like for the men in here to plug their ear right now. <laughs> Man in here, plug your ears. Please. In here, through my fingers. I don't want. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Ladies, you know what this is good for? Men? It's a Viagra. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's, it's, I mean, it's a normal one. I just want you to know. Okay, guys. <laughs> You can look for more information, but that is good for that. So you can imagine. I just, I just want to tell you that. But, but you are not supposed to be coming. No, I'm just kidding. I just, <laughs> poor Rick don't have anybody to tell him. I eat lots of water. Yes, uh, so that's so you can see that we can have everything in the fruits and vegetables without the meat. Isn't it also high in iron? And, huh? The watermelon is high in iron. Right, it is too. And you're going to find it in a lot of different things I'll be showing you or on the things I'm giving you on the 57 um, things over there. But 
I'm, th I'm telling you all this, but the last class, on the last class, then I'm going to tell you everything that you can have on the eating meat, okay? So you can make a balance. And then if you make a balance, it's pretty sure that you're going to decide what is that that you want it to do. Because in reality, when you are used to be eating meat, it's delicious, tastes good, or whatever, but I'm pretty sure that after this class, every time you see and you play meat, you, you might eat it, but you're going to be thinking a lot before you do it. You're going to be thinking a lot because there's a lot of choices for you to eat healthy that don't have to be that meat that's going to give you some other side effect. Okay? Let's see this. Healing power of food. Now we're going to talk about sweet corn, and we're going to be eating corn tonight, so that's why I want to have the corn over here. And you have some more information we're giving to you about corn. Okay. Vitamins B1, B5, and C, minerals killed with fiber and folic acid, prevent newborns from being underweight and keep skin younger and heart healthier. Younger, healthy heart, yes. Okay. So not much to explain over there. So you see that everyone has the benefits in our body. Yes? I have, I have read that almost all the corn in the nation is GMO now. Unless you, you know, unless you pick it organically. Yeah. That's right. Yes. It, but, uh, that's true. And it, uh, it, the same thing, yeah, the same thing, like you say, with the soy. And a lot of fruit and vegetables that we eat, that's why we have to be very careful. I'd rather go to one of those little markets outside and buy whatever they have over there. And I don't even trust when they say organic on the stores because if they can put a label organic or whatever and they, they just make believe. When I go to Michigan, it's really nice because you can go on the road and ev almost almost everybody have a, a little thing selling outside in front of the house of all the things that they um, grow in the backyard and they just do it as a owner. They say, uh, you get tomatoes or whatever they have over there and you put your money and leave. I mean, nobody there to. The honor system. Uh, yeah, the honor system, the honor system, and it's really nice. I like to go over there. When I go over there, I enjoy doing all those things, like eating all that kind of food over there. But here, yes, I go to the little market to buy the things I need. But I'd rather buy it organic. But sometimes they say organic, and it's not organic, and they just charge you a lot of more money for that. So we just have to pray before we eat it, Lord. I'm trying to eat the way that you said. So I'm going to eat this, clean it for me, mm -hmm. and that's it. No, go back. Well, we need to go with the mango. Healing power of the food and mango. It relieves that indigestion, food memory, keeps cells alive, is rich in iron and good for anemia and children, lowers cholesterol, good for eyesight, your colon, breast, leukemia, and prostate cancer. Okay. All those things are good for. Healing power. Uh, don't worry about writing all these things down now because I'm going to tell you something. Uh, the banana. High in iron, natural antacid, high in vitamin B content, blood pressure, cell formation, cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, obesity, keeps blood sugar levels up. Okay. Next, broccoli. Healthy nervous system, optimal brain functions, and regular muscle growth strengthens immune defense, regulates blood pressure, prevents thickening of the arteries in the body. Okay, very clear. Okay. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> yes, see you next week. But let me tell you this. The other day I told you about a book that I got a lot of information from there. This book is called Foods That Heal. I bought this book for myself, but I can pass it over so you can look at it. And if it's something that you like, you can order yourself a buy or whatever because there's a lot of information there. 
Uh, it's not an, an advertising, I never advertise any book on my class, you know, simply because I don't mind to think that I'm just getting commissions on that. But it is so good that you can just go in and buy it anywhere. You go to any store, a bookstore or Amazon or anywhere you buy. I bought it in Michigan. And no, but, it, but they have it. Uh, I saw it on Amazon. And all the information, more of the information, most of the information I'm getting is from the here, from there. And this guy have a set of books that I paid like two hundred something dollars for the set of three and another set of two. A lot of money, but it's just wonderful to have it because you learn a lot. So I'm going to pass it over this way while we keep working over here with the food. And then you, if it's something that you like, all you have to do is to get a name or whatever. And if you have any problem, order it, let me know, and I will do it for you. And I help you to order it. But don't have anything to do with me. It's just that it is good. And you might be interested in having something like that. Okay, so until the next class, the next class is going to be number seven. Yeah. It's going to be number seven and then number eight, so it's almost finished. And I want you to have a lot of recipes before you get out of here. And that is the reason why I gave you some recipes this week. We're going to start with the The one that says hamburger, hamburg potato casserole. It is under yum for the palm potatoes. We're going to work with this one because this one I have to put it in the oven yet. The other one I have in the oven. Yes, that one. You have to put it in the oven. This one. And that's done as bookmobile? Yeah, that one. Where do you hook up with them? They actually make rounds <laughs> in all of the Sunday of these churches. Yeah, that's so okay. Let's do that one. Twice a year they come here. But they have a place well, over in the winter park. No, they moved to all the time. Yeah, but they have a place over there. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
potatoes. And I have it over here. Then there, I'm going to do the mushrooms. The mushroom soup, see? That's not the The mushroom. Right. If you have, if you have your but I gave you a mushroom gravy thing that you can use. Alright. Where's your apron? Yes. Cover the top of the potato. 
the mixture with the burger. You guys have your own meeting there. What is that? So it's, like, it's like a shepherd's pie almost. Yeah. yeah. It's like a shepherd's pie. Yeah, they put sweet water on the It's in it. Okay, 
So when you have it, then you just leave those potatoes on the side and then start working with the rest of the stuff. On the rest of the stuff, you're going to mix. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, is there a reason why? No, yes. if you want to do it the other way, but it's gonna it's, it's harder to keep that one piece whole, the whole thing, than the round one. This is to keep a round little little piece. Yeah, yeah. But if you do a long one, it's not gonna. Yeah, it's not make my first try the other one. But it's not like a one You're gonna see it when you read it. Okay. When on the, on the bowl separate, you're gonna have all the all the other ingredients. You're gonna put it separate, mix together. The soy milk and the flour, soy milk and flour, just mix it together. I mix it in this thing here to be sure that it's well mixed. Soy milk and flour. Then I put them in a little. How you say how you call this little Yeah, say that again, love. Sauce. Yes, on the little one, and then put them in the <laughs> in the stove. Cook it real slow. If you if you are there, you can put the heater the heat more. But you have to go all the time checking and checking and checking. Don't leave it alone because it's going to burn. Okay, just you have to be there with us. And if you don't have the time to do it like that. Don't do it because then it's, it's going to be like a little bowl. It's, it's not going to work out. You have to be there taking care of whatever you're doing when you're cooking. Okay. The next thing that you're going to do is when you are doing the with a spoon and you see that it's just getting to start thick. Immediately, you're going to mix in there the cream cheese. It says here, better than cream cheese. What is it made of? Soy. It's made out of soy. Yes. Where do you get it? At the supermarket? A grocery store? Yeah. Public pass. Okay. It's with the rest of the cream cheese? Uh, yes. And the dairy? Right. But you ask, and they tell you it's tofuri. And they have oh. a tomato, they have a tofuri. Cream cheese. Okay, so it's in with the uh, vegetarian food? Right, right. Okay, yeah. And it was after, after you finish, see what I did is you want, you know, one of those, I didn't use my spoon because I was using the spoon and then I, I saw the, the cream cheese that was taking long to dissolve. So I got, let me see if you see if I have it. A whisk? Yeah, I have this. A whisk. Yeah, a whisk. Then I went like that, and that made it really, really, really good. And was white and really smooth. No, nothing to get so. So you just add, after that, you add a little bit of butter, but the, the soy butter. Do you know which one is the soy butter? Yeah, earth balance. Yeah, we, uh, and we have the other one too. Maybe smart it's balance. Soy. Smart balance. And for the one that haven't seen it, let me show it to you. They have two kinds. If you are if you are allergic to soy, then you buy one of this. That's the one we buy the one. Soy free. This is the one that I use. And then this is just the same. But it's that one has no soy. Does it have more calories in it than regular cream cheese? That's not the reason. Butter. 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 You have a, the mix and then put the potato inside the mix or the potato that you have the, or he already cut. Then you put the mix in there and very careful, not with a spoon, with a spatula. You just move them so you don't break the potato that much. So move them to make it even, uh, 
So the, everything being together, everything that you put in there is together. Mm -hmm. So after you have it like that, just put them in the dish and put them in the oven and 350 for 30 minutes. And that is the young tom potato. It's already done and I'm going to show it to you. This one looks different. Oops. This is kind of white. But tastes really good. Those are the ones that you're going to put over there and then you 
try the potatoes really small and you always keep it in low, don't boil it too much. But I'm going to show you how it looks after it's done. Mm -hmm. Let me show you.
Get the tomatoes, that big one that come in a can, and just blend it over here, and you make your own sauce over there. You put some, you, then you put some the onion, so, uh, onion, uh, what happened to me? Onion, <laughs> onion, uh, yeah, yeah, onion, onion, garlic, anything. Yeah, powder, onion powder, and, onions, and salt powder. You, you add anything that you want to, to the flavor. But the only thing is that the flavor that makes tamales is the one that I don't like, but it's the one that is there that is cumin. Cumin. Yeah. I don't care too much, but it's okay. And it, it, again, you follow the instructions on this one, and you can make it, and it's going to be good. It's going to taste good. I'm going to show it to you now because we have a great. Come on. See, when I put the onions in there, I put the onions with the lemon. 
and I put it together. Okay? So I'm not going to put any lemon juice now because that will be extra lemon. And so half a cup of sucanat or fructose? Okay, uh, I think I show you the sucanat. But this is the sugar for the sucanat. And I would like to, after finish, to taste this in separate out of the food or anything so you can see the taste of that sugar. That's cane sugar. But I have a book that gives me the difference when I make that salad. It tells me the regular uh, broccoli salad is like a thousand thousand calories. And then give me the vegan salad. Six hours. Right. Six hours. 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 Six hours.
Got one right there in the back. The drainer. The dish drainer.
Uh, when, remember what we were making here and we put them in the oven? When you see the bubbling part coming up, bubbling that like you see the, the little things, I mean that like it's, it's really hot in there, just you can take it out and it's ready because everything is good. Okay, any questions? Yeah,